Hi everyone, it's Jeannie from Makers Unify and I want to show you how I made this book set and these candles for St. Patrick's Day. Uh, first I took uh, four paperback books that I got from the thrift store and ripped off the covers. And then uh, I hot glued all of the four books together to put them all in one stack. And you want to make sure that you lined up the, um, the size of the book or the, the bindings of the book to each other. And then just press down and let it dry. And then you take some Mod Podge and put it on the binding of the book. And this is what you're going to uh, use to adhere your picture or whatever that you're going to put on your book. This is a picture that I took um, in Dingle, Ireland. That's Dingle Bay. And uh, since this is my Irish theme, this is what I'm going with. So you just place it over the Mod Podge and press it down into the seams of the book and then set it aside and let it dry. After it dried, I went ahead and trimmed off the, um, the sides and the top that had the extra paper on it. Then you take an X-Acto knife between the seams of the book of the, um, the binding and you go ahead and make a slit through that so that you can kind of separate it a little bit. Make another coat of Mod Podge over the top and then I ended up taking a little ruler and kind of uh, pushing the um, paper into the, the seams of the binding just to kind of push it down in there a little bit more, make it a little more defined. So I need to finish up my books. I ended up <clears throat> tearing this off and redoing it because I didn't really like how it turned out. But that's the scene from Dingle, Ireland, a picture I took back in 2014 when we were in Ireland. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what I want to do is put this moss on the top and then um, probably put some twine around that. This is called Instant Instant Green All Purpose Moss Mat. <clears throat> and it's gonna make a mess, but looks like you cut it to size. So I think what I'm gonna do is just Trace the top. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this on.
<clears throat> so I think what I want to do is make a little coil with this and put it in the center here. So I have this gold liquid pearls. I'm gonna put a drop right in the middle there. That's a little better. Yeah, I like that. So there it is. <clears throat> so my St. Patrick's Day decoration. This is Dingle, Ireland. So for this decoration, I took a vase that I got at uh, Salvation Army for $1.99. I got two of them. And I put peas in the middle, candle, and then this I made out of uh, some cord that I got at Joann's. So I am going to work on the second one. Um, <clears throat> The cording can be however you want to do it. Um, I kind of just played around with it and knotted it and then did a, uh, a square knot and then just regular knot here and I started a square knot and then I ended with um, just three of them like a braid. So you can just play around with it and do with it what you want. <clears throat> and then fill the uh, split peas in on the bottom. And go ahead and place your candle in. So again, real quick, what I did was just kind of a double knot here. And then these I will um, twist apart. And I'll have four sets and then I'll, I'll start the square knot. So this is my St. Patrick's Day display. I made that sign in another video if you want to check that out. I have the candles, the little houses that I've actually had up since Christmas but I've just been changing them with the uh, seasons. Nutcracker there, St. Patrick's Day Nutcracker. That's the sign I did with the, um, I used my Silhouette Cameo 4 for the lettering and the, the uh, book. So thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Happy St. Patrick's Day.